एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन द फ्रिक्शन को इफिशियंट बिटवीन द बोर्ड एंड द फ्लोर सोन इन द फिगर इज म्यू फाइंड द मैक्सिम फोर्स दैट द मैन कैन एग्जर्ट ऑन द रोप सो दैट द बोर्ड डज नॉट स्लिप ऑन द फ्लोर लेटेस्ट फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ द मैन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ कैपिटल एम जी पुल्स द मैन इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन द बोर्ड अप्लाइज नॉर्मल कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स से एन वन इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन लेट द फोर्स विथ विच द मैन इज पुलिंग द रोप बिथ टी The reaction of this force will pull the man upwards. Hence the man will experience a force T in upward direction. Since the system is at rest, upward force on the man must be equal to the downward force acting on it. Therefore T plus N1 is equal to capital Mg which implies N1 is equal to capital Mg minus T. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the board on which the man is standing. Gravitational force of Mg is pulling the board downwards. The reaction of the normal contact force on the man from the board will act on the board in downward direction. So N1 force acts on it in downward direction. The floor will apply normal contact force say N2 on the board in upward direction. Since the man is pulling the rope with force T, there will be a tension T in the rope and the rope will pull the board with this tension towards right. Force of friction between the board and the floor will oppose this tension. If the man is applying the maximum possible force then the tension must be equal to the maximum value of this friction therefore the friction force is equal to mu times the normal between the floor and the board that is mu n2 balancing the forces in vertical direction we get n1 plus mg is equal to n2 balancing the force in horizontal direction we get t is equal to mu n2 putting the value of n2 from equation 2 we get t is equal to mu into n1 plus mg Putting the value of n1 from equation 1, we get t is equal to mu into capital Mg minus t plus Mg. Rearranging, we get t is equal to mu into capital M plus M into G minus mu into t, which implies mu plus 1 into t is equal to mu into capital M plus M into G, which implies t is equal to mu into capital M plus M into G divided by mu plus 1. This is our answer. To request solution to any question from HC Verma book post the question number and chapter number in comments below like and share the video to help other students find us subscribe the channel for further updates thank you for watching